Joe James. In this video, I'm going to explain some of the Notepad++ keyboard shortcuts. So in previous video, the intro to Notepad++, I explained some of the basic fundamental ones that I'll review here in this slide. Control N for new document, Control S for save document, Control O for open document, Control Z for undo, Control F to find or replace a string of text, Control Q to comment or uncomment a single line or a block of code. Control A will select everything, all the text in a document. Control C, copy. Control X, cut selected text. And Control V, paste from clipboard. Now I kind of zipped through these because, I, like I said, I already covered these in my previous video. And also these are pretty standard across really all Windows applications. So there's really nothing new on this slide. So some of the next slides, I'll show you some working examples. So some of the shortcuts for the file operations. Control N to create a new document. Control O to open a document. Control S to save a document. These are all pretty intuitive. Uh, Control Shift S to save all of the open documents. So if you have a bunch of different documents open, which is pretty typical when you're working on a project, and you want to save all of them at once, you use Control Shift S. Control W to close a document. Control page up to go to the previous document. Control page down to navigate to the next document. And Control tab to either go to the next document or show a list of open documents. Let me show some examples of all these. So control N for new document adds a new document here. And you can do Control W to close that document, but you can also simply click on the red box, which is what I typically do, is just click on this red X. Control Shift S will save all open documents. In other words, every one of these open tabs, it will save every one of them. Uh, but you can also use this Save All button on the toolbar, which does exactly the same thing. Control Page Up, Control Page Down are going to take you to the next and previous documents. So as you can see across the top, we have a list of open documents. Each one has its own tab. Control Page Up takes you to the previous one. Control Page Down takes you to the next one. And Control Tab will also take you to the next one. However, it also brings up this box. As long as you hold the Control button down, it shows you this box of open documents. So you can tab forward as many documents as you want. Let's say you want to go to New One, bam, right there. And so on the Edit menu, we have Control A for Select All, Control C for Copy of the Selected Text, Control X to Cut, Control V to Paste, Control Z to undo, Control Y to redo. I think all these are fairly self-explanatory. I'll show you a quick demo of how these bottom ones here were. So Alt left click, column mode select. What does that mean? So if you hold down the Alt button and then you drag your mouse with a left click, let's say you want to change ID equals big to ID equals small, but you want to do that for a whole bunch of different rows, you can edit them all at once just by typing the word a single time. And like I said, you do that with the Alt, left mouse button, drag. And you highlight the text that you want to edit. And then you only have to edit it a single time if it's all aligned vertically. The uh, Control D gives, allows you to duplicate the current line. So let's say we have first name here. We want to ask what is your last name. We'll just do Control D. And then we can just uh, update one single word instead of the whole line. Control T, swap current line with previous line. Control L, delete current line. And Control Shift down, move current line down, or Control Shift up, moves it up. So uh, let's, see, let's demo some of those. So if we want to swap these, we can do Control T to swap these two lines. The first two lines the first two paragraph texts, we can swap them by just typing Control T. So that may be a nice feature. And then we can swap this. And gradually we could swap favorite color down in the bottom position where it should go. Or we could simply do uh, Control Shift up arrow to move it up or down, this single line here. So we're moving favorite color up. Control shift down arrow moves it back down. So pretty easy to move a line of text up and down without 
having to highlight the whole thing, control X to cut it, and then paste it where you want it. You can simply do control shift up and control shift down, or you can do control T to swap it with the line above it. Control L will delete the line of text. So let's say we decide we don't need favorite color anymore. Uh, but actually, I do need that, so I'm going to do Control-Z to undo. I already explained how the Control-F function works in my previous video, but I'm going to show you how F3 works. You can find the next word in a document. And Control-U allows you to convert to lowercase, or Control-Shift-U to uppercase. If we highlight, we double-click a word in a document, we can use the F3 key to jump to the next match for that word in the document. And we can do Control shift u to change that word to uppercase, or Control u to change it to all lowercase. Control shift u also works for a whole sentence. Control q is a comment and uncomment for a, a selected lines. And I explained that in my previous video, so I'm not going to repeat that. Control b allows you to go to matching set of brackets, braces, or parentheses. In this case, it's pretty simple, but if we have a longer block of code, for example, a Java document, you can see if you, when you highlight an open bracket, it shows you the closing bracket. And that's very helpful when it's on a, a different line, but if you have a whole bunch of code inside those braces, uh, type in the control B will take you to the bottom of the brace, which is very nice. For example, here we have a, a class, which is a pretty long block code and we can instantly jump to the bottom of the closing brace there. So control B takes you to the matching bracket brace or parenthesis. Control F2 allows you to set and remove bookmarks. What the heck is a bookmark? Well, Let me show you what a bookmark is. You'll think this is so cool. When you have a longer program this is a really useful feature because it allows you to keep track of where you're working if you're working in two different areas of the program at once, it's very helpful. F2 allows you to go to the next bookmark. Control F2 allows you to set or cancel a bookmark. So let's say we are working here in this in order traversal method, and we do Control F2 to set a bookmark. And we also want to do some work up here in the in order traversal method in a different class. Control F2 there. So now we have two bookmarks, and by just simply pushing the F2 button, we jump down to the inner traversal function in the tree class, and by pressing it again, we can jump up to the inner traversal function in the node class. So if you're working on a similar function or uh, two different sections of your code, that's one way to do it. You can just simply set bookmarks there and then jump between them. Now another way that I showed in my previous video that's also pretty handy is to show this document map because you can also jump back and forth like that. So with uh, Control F2 we'll be able to unset the bookmark and Control F2 again we can unset this bookmark. And if we want to see a larger or smaller font size we can do Control plus or Control minus. The catch here is though that this only works if you have a numeric keypad on your laptop. So you can do Control plus to see larger font, control minus to see smaller fonts, and then you can do control slash to go to the default font size. These are nice functions that you let you look up resources on the web very quickly and easily. So you can open Google or Wikipedia to find a specific word or phrase. So for instance, we're looking at post order and we want to understand what post order means. Well, we can use Alt F2 for Google or Alt F3 for Wikipedia. So we use Alt F3. That takes us to a Wikipedia page that explains tree traversal. Pretty quick and easy way to get help on that. And then if we want to look at Alt F2, that takes us to a Google result for post order traversal, which is also very helpful. So that wraps up my video on keyboard shortcuts for Notepad++. I hope you found this video helpful. This is number two in the Notepad++ series, and I'm going to have one more video to show you tips and tricks. If you like this video, please click subscribe and watch my previous and next videos on Notepad++. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.